And so how do you make a move if you don't make effort? Just be straight up with them. Do you know what I'm saying? If you like a girl, then bro, like that's what it is. Like if you if you like a girl, then you just tell her what time it is. Just say yo, like, just tell her where we're going out. And if she says nah, then say then leave her, ignore her, bro. Like don't pursue women, bro. Tell her you're going out, or say right, I'm taking you out. Like, bruv, man will meet a girl and I'll say, right, like, I'm taking you out next week. And if she goes, oh, oh, I'm busy in that, and she doesn't, and she doesn't say, for instance, if you say to a girl, yo, next week I'm taking you out, and she goes, and she says, oh, like, I'm busy next week, but I can do the week after or something. Bro, at least she's saying she can do the week after, innit? But if she just says, oh, no, I can't next week. She ain't interested, bruv. You know the ones there, bruv. She should be giving you days that she can do, fam. And even then, I might just say to her, you know what, yeah? I'm off on Tuesday. I'm taking you out. And if she says, oh, I can't do Tuesday, but I can do Wednesday. Cool. She's interested. If she goes, oh, yeah, I'm not free Tuesday. I'm not. You're not hearing from me again, bruv. That's just it. You know what I mean? Back in the day, man, them used to negotiate and say, oh, what? You can't do... Oh, you can't do Tuesday. Oh, when are you free and that? Never ask girls when they're free, bro. Don't do it, bro. Do you know what I mean? Because then it gives them the power, bro. Don't give them any. Do you know what I'm saying? Because then before you know it, she's making all the decisions throughout the whole relationship, bro. Fuck that. You know what I mean? Tell her I'm, I'm free on Saturday and Tuesday. Which one can you do? And if she can't do either of them, I oh, will. You know, like that. that that's how you got to be, bruv. Trust me. Bruv, listen, it, bruv, listen, I've been the guy, yeah? I've been the guy where I know for a fact. Because listen, y'all are always chatting to bare man, innit? Don't get it twisted. So, if a girl likes you enough, she'll cancel with one of her other brers to make sure she's free for you, blood. So, when you say to her, I'm only free on Tuesday or Saturday, if she's got another date on Tuesday, she will cancel that, bruv. She'll tell man that, I don't know, that she feels ill or something. Or she's got to stay late at work and she'll link you, fam. You know, like that. I'm telling you. That's just how it is. I'll be real. So if a girl likes you enough, bruv, she'll cancel the date with the next brother. And vice versa. Man them. Man them have had dates booked in with girls. And then a girl that you like more says she wants to see you. And you just cancel on the other girl. It happens all the time. I said, should relationships involve compromise on both sides? Bruv, listen, yeah. Most of the time, yeah, in relationships, men make most of the compromise, bruv, because men are afraid to say no to their women, bro. That's just how it is, bro. You know the amount of men that are in unhappy relationships? All the time. All the time, bro. I'll be real, bro. Most of the time, yeah, women, men don't leave women, bro. It's the other way around, fam. Like, a man will stay in a relationship where he's not happy, bruv, whereas women won't. They'll leave, blood. Do you know what I mean? That's just what it is, bro. I'll be fair because women know, yeah, that they've probably got more options than men. So they just go and get another guy. The only time women stay with men, yeah, when they're not happy is when they know they can't do better. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's when they know that they're punching, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's it. If a woman thinks she can do better than you, then she will. She will, blood. She'll leave you, cuz. That's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? Women will stay with an abusive man if she thinks she can't do better. But most of the time, women know that they can just go on Instagram, post two, two photos and replace you, fam. That's just how it is. Man them, it's not that easy for man them to replace women, bro. Because you got to have your shit together. That's just how it is. Fear of rejection ain't a hindrance for men, bro. Because as a man, if you know, if you're not in good shape, if you're not tall, if you ain't got money, if you can't grow a beard... You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got a hairline, there's bare things, yeah? Bruv, listen, if you ain't got all those things, bruv, you ain't getting no girl, blood. Do you know what I mean? It don't matter how nice a guy you are, bro. It don't matter. If you're short, broke, and fat, you're dusted, bro. <laughs> you're finished. There's nothing you can do. Whereas women can be fat, short, have a bad attitude, and still have man, bruv. That's just how it is, unfortunately, gang. Man already know what it is, bro. Like, listen, like, the struggle for men and women is not the same, bro. That's why women will leave most of the time because they feel like they can replace you. It's easier for a woman to replace you than a man to replace a woman. 
Unless a man's got his shit together and he's got bare options, but that's a 10% guy, bro. 90% of guys can't just replace their woman with, with a click of the finger. Nah, bro, man have to keep it 100 with you lot. Because you man see me, yeah? Like, man's in fucking... I'm in, I'm in America now. Man's doing well in life. I've got, I got blue ticks on all my platforms. I ain't got girls DMing me. Do you know what I'm saying? I ain't got girls DM. Women don't DM guys like that, bro. Unless you're Drake or Chris Brown or something like that, a girl is not sliding in your DMs. They're not doing it. Do you know what I'm saying? They might like a few of your pictures and stuff like that and try and wait for you to message them. But, bro, they don't DM you like that. It don't matter what you've got. It don't matter what you've got. Girl do not DM man like that, bro. Like, they just don't. They just don't. You know what I'm saying? Girl know that man can come to them, so they don't make effort, bruv. Why do they need to? Especially if they're good looking, why would they do that? And that's why, man, them, you'll know. If you're chatting to a buff girl, yeah? They're the laziest people in the world, bro. Like, you'll, you'll be having a conversation with yourself. Your messenger, she ain't asking you no questions back, nothing. It's the deadest conversation you'll have in your life. They're this conversation you're having in your life. You know them, man. And that's why, unless I'm looking to beat you, yeah, I'm not messaging you because I know there's no conversation here. <laughs> there's no convo, blood. I'm, well, I'm messaging you what? To have a good conversation, nah. Man don't have good conversations with women. 99% of the time, the conversation shit, bro. I'm like, yo, let's link up. Let's go out for drinks and that. What's there to talk about? Do you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Them buff things give you the deadest replies. If girl are chatting to you bare, most of the time, 100%, you're in the friend zone, blood, and she's talking to you about another guy. The man said it's about looks or personality, bruv. That bruv is, is both. But really and truly, yeah, as a man, whether you like it or not, it's about looks, bruv. I'll be, be honest, because that's how we're designed biologically, bro. Like, that's what it is, bro. Like, Man can say personality long term, I hear that, but we're not designed, we're not designed to think like that. That's just what it is. As a man, if you're not attracted to a girl, girls don't grow on you, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? Girls don't grow on you, bro. As a man, yeah, you can grow on a woman. Like a woman can just say, yeah, I've had all my bad boys. Let me just get a safe guy now. Men don't want that, bruv. Men always want to be attracted to the woman they look at. Always. Because that's how we're wired, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh man, you just have the safe thing at home, but then you're out pamming everything like T.I. blood. I'm sure that Tiny's got a good fucking personality, but she's but ugly. You know them ones there? And he's probably, you got her at home, but he's out in the streets pamming everything else, blood. You know, like that. It's just what it is, bro. I'll be real. But when I'm 50, yeah, when man reach 50, it's completely different. But why would I do that in the prime in my prime blood? That don't make no sense. When a man's fifty, a man's not on just beating, because at that at that age, yeah, you just want peace, blood. You you don't want to be out in these streets no more. You don't want to be moving around, blood. You know like that. But even fifty, blood. Idris is fifty, blood. He can get a bad twenty-five year old if he wanted right now. That is what it is. But when you're fifty, you just want peace and quiet because you've had gal doing your head in for all these years. But I don't know. I don't know as a man what age them man lose lose their sex drive and that. I guess it's different, but I'm guessing it would probably be like probably like probably when you hit like sixty or something. You know the ones that, and that's when you don't care what your girl looks like. But until you're sixty, you're gonna care, blood. 